Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I edit some photos in Photoshop on the Surface Pro 7. So in this example, I'm going to be using the Surface Pen and also the Type Cover and also show you why I think these two are the most important accessories if you plan to get this tablet for photo editing. Right now, um, the tablet is plugged into the power source so that it gives me the best performance as you can see here. And one thing I like about this tablet is that I can power it using a power bank, but the power bank has to be quite powerful. And this one that I use is actually, um, I think able to offer up to 40 watt on the type C port, which is really, really powerful. So we're gonna start by using this script and load several files into Photoshop. So in this example, I'm going to be using these three photos. And because I shot this on a tripod, I do not need to use any of these functions because the shooting positions is the same. You can see that on the absolute highest performance, the Photoshop loads this photo pretty quickly. So what I'm going to do is align the layers so that it's on the correct um, position. I'm going to start by turning off this and edit this photo. So what you want to do is select this layer, go to quick selection two and select the camera. It, it does quite a good job for like, you know, quick selection as you can see here. But on this example, what I want to remove is this hand here. So what's here is not really important. Just need to make sure that it has got more pixel than is required so that it's not jagged. could see that it has done quite a good job already. The thing that I like about this touch screen is that it offers pinch zoom. So you, it's really quick. You don't have to use the mouse or, you know, press the, I think it's the Z button, scroll the mouse just to zoom in and out. Um, next thing you're gonna do is use a layer mask. As you can see, it instantly removed the hand um, the next step is use the brush tool. Because I'm on a tablet, I can rest my hand and draw a line. You could see that it is really, really smooth. It's not really that accurate right now. I mean, that's my error, but you could see Zooming in might show the imperfection, but if I do that, you can't really see, you know, the jagged line. So the next thing I'm gonna do is remove the bottom part, which is like here. So once I've done that, I'll increase the size of the brush and just do that. You can see how quickly this performs. And because my finger was holding the camera, so there is a bit of a overlap, what I need to do um, can use some clone stamp too. Found it. So I'm. I was sampling it off the 
wrong lay your hands. Because I'm using a pen, as you can see, I could easily achieve like a smooth line. So instantly you could see that this is done. So once I've done that, I'm going to turn off this layer and concentrate on this. The process is the same. So I'm going to be using quick selection to select this lens. Oh, too quick. So let's try that again. Oh, hang on, what's going on? Select this, select the area. Oh, I think because I'm on different layer, hence it's not quick. See, when you're on correct layer, things are very quickly. So just zoom in, select the area that I want. As mentioned before, because the top bit hasn't got anything that I need to be removing. So I could literally leave it as that. So the next thing to do is again, apply a layer mask. You could see that it's, it's done a good job selecting the outline of it, but there is some um, hue there. But again, like I said, you we could actually remove that using a brush tool. So we just paint it off. And let's increase the size of it just so that it's quicker. And once we get into um, the finer details, we can always decrease the um, the brush size. You could see that because I'm on, I'm using a pen. I could be very, very precise. And the same for here, because it's not that visible. All we need to do is make sure that we have a straight line like that. So See, once I zoom out, it's not, it's not very visible, isn't it? And let's turn on this and then that's it. That's the final product. So what I'm going to do now is just save the photo on my computer and say composite. Pre-edit. The reason why I'm doing it is because I will be importing into Lightroom and do some color adjustment and also crop so that I can put it on Instagram. Um, so as you can see, I didn't spend a lot of time just compositing this three photo into one. The reason you can see is because of this pen. So I think this pen and the type cover are the absolute accessories if you want to edit some photos on the go. Um, yeah, hope you find this useful and don't forget to like and subscribe if you, you know, think this video is useful to you. Thank you very much.